Yeah, he's back. Dissolving the ego. Dissolve the ego, dissolve this madness. The, we're really dysfunctional. The more I, uh, the more I investigate our behaviors and the way we, uh, we act in this world, I really realize that we're so dysfunctional. So dysfunctional and so low vibration. So low vibration. But it's up to us. It's up to us. It's a, it's a work that you must do. Uh, you know, the work on yourself is very... Uh, because people also are very, very... Uh, how can I say? They are very comfortable with... Uh, especially when you're young. Uh, also when you get older. Uh, you get very uh, influenced by others around you. By uh, friends and stuff like that. The opinion of your friends or uh, has a, a lot of a, it, to me it's clear that many many people are uh, not living or manifesting what they should be manifesting that's clear you don't need to look uh, very very far to realize that people are bamboozled and they don't live their uh, I don't know what I would like to see in the world is just people like I don't want to like it's just to change our ways change our ways but that's what I want to see people you know, I want the people see that but that's the way I see the world I don't know if the rest of the world will ever see the world the way I see it possible one day that we uh, there's a big big influx of a uh, of consciousness for sure people are uh, there's a mass awakening in humanity happening but it's gonna go at the rhythm it goes also you cannot uh, takes timing you know to change even to change ourselves it takes timing so it's gonna change it's gonna take timing also to change humanity Yeah, but the ego is destined to dissolve and all of its ossified structures, whether they be religious or other institutions, corporation or government, will disintegrate from within. This is the thing. Everything will disintegrate from within because once we gain consciousness, we uh, gain more awareness in this game, uh, we're going to be able to dissolve it. But until we gain the awareness... Uh, we become more conscious we're never never going to be able to uh, to dissolve the ego and see what's going on because you're blinded also your ego blinds you a lot that's what's happening many people get blind by uh, blind by their ego and constantly pulled into the ego and it's a very strange world very uh, but you gotta want to know the truth, you know, if you want to know, if you seek, you will find, if you seek the truth, you will find, but if you don't seek, you will never find anything, you will remain a living dead, for sure. With all your little addictions and nonsense, every children, every teenager you see these days have a phone in their hand, they all have phones. So addicted on these devices, it's crazy. And they're so excited, so... Uh, yeah. That's the age also. I remember I was excited at that age. You're very, very uh, lost at the 16, 17, 18. You're not too, too... Uh... But... That's it. No matter how deeply entrenched they appear to be, they're going to dissolve from within. Because once the people become more conscious, this is where it's going to change. The game is going to change a lot once they become conscious. Once we become, uh, you know, just more, uh, more aware of what's more aware of the game. Raising our awareness of the game is very important. 
because raising our awareness is a it's expanding it's expanding the awareness and it's something that constantly expand constantly expand and sure the most rigid structures the most impervious to change will collapse first I don't know how long it's gonna take maybe not from my living days huh? I don't think I'll see that from my living days the NASA collapse and all this huh? but it's meant to collapse it's gonna collapse from within for sure disintegrate this has already happened in the case of Soviet communism how deeply entrenched, how solid and monolithic it appeared, and yet within a few years it disintegrate, disintegrated from within. Totally disintegrated from within. There are many more surprises in stores for us. Many more surprises in store for us. The, urgen the urgency of transformation. The urgency of transformation. When faced with a radical crisis, when the old way of being in the world, of interacting with each other and with the realm of nature doesn't work anymore. When survival is threatened by seemingly insurmountable problems, an individual life form or a species will either die or become extinct or rise above the limitation of its condition through an evolutionary leap this is what's happening to us. We're not going to die from this. We're not going to let ourselves be instinct. That's probably what they want. They want to kill us all. But you know, we're not going to let that happen. They, they can kill what can never die. No, Babylon cannot kill what can never die. And we are, uh, you know, invin invincible altogether. The power is to the people. The power belongs to the people. You know, the moment we're going to wake up, it's uh, game over. I can see that leap happening very, very uh, fast in human uh, evolution. Once we start asking questions, once we get out of the drone state, the default state, and start asking questions, we're probably gonna take a big leap then. Oh yeah, for sure, I see that happening. Mega, mega leap happening. But it's gonna take a massive awakening. Yeah. It is believed that the life forms on this plane first evolved in the sea. When there were no animals yet to be found on land, the sea was already teeming with life. Then at some point, one of the sea creatures must... Yeah, that I don't believe that too much. I don't believe in evolution. We're gonna skip that part. He talks about evolution. I don't think we... I don't believe in that evolution. Yeah. Responding to a radical crisis that threatens, threatens our very survival, this is humanity's challenge now. This is humanity's challenge now. The dysfunction of the egoic human mind, recognized already more than 2,500 years ago by the ancient wisdom teachers, and now magnified through science and technology, is for the first time threatening the survival of the pla planet plane, whatever. Until very recently, the transformation of human consciousness also pointed to by the ancient teachers was no more than a possibility realized by a few rare individuals here and there, irrespective of cultural, cultural or religious background. <coughs> <coughs> widespread flowering of human consciousness did not happen because it was not yet imperative now it's imperative these days it's imperative we are we are in a, in a decade of consciousness that's for sure people are asking questions all over this plane and if I ask question here uh, you know I affect a lot of people around here a lot of people around me people are gonna ask questions in there part of the world you know once we start once everybody starts questioning wow 
what is arising now is not a new belief system, a new religion, spiritual idea, ideology or mythology. We are coming to the end, not only of mythologies, but also of ideologies and belief system. The change goes deeper than the content of your mind, deeper than your thoughts. In fact, at the heart of the, of the new consciousness lies the transcendence of thought, the newfound ability of rising above thought, of realizing a dimension within yourself that is immensely, immensely more vast than thought. You then no longer derive your identity, your sense of who you are from the incessant stream of thinking that is that in the old consciousness you take to be yourself. What a liberation to realize that the voice in my head is not who I am. I'll be back.